Is there a vinyl revival? Sure. Is it overstated? Yes. The problem I have with it is vinyl, it doesn't earn its problems. The process of making a vinyl record is I'll design the album art, we'll go through mastering, plating, get test pressings. Test pressings will be an exact duplicate of what the final product will be. Best case scenario, mm -hmm. we listen to it, sounds amazing. We move forward, great. There's still going to be a higher proportion of that product that's defective than CDs ever were, than digital ever will be. We did a box set for a modern composer named William Bozinski. We made 2,000 of those. They cost $225 a piece. Mm -hmm. 640 of them were damaged of the 2,000, times $225 per. Wow. That's a loss. And running a small company is hopefully, if you do it long enough and you do it right, then you have good faith built into and goodwill built into a customer base. Right. You know, even if it's small, people get that you're just trying to do the right thing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jeremy Devine. Okay. So I'm thrilled to be joined here by Jeremy Devine. He's the founder of Temporary Residence Records. Good to have you. Great to see you. Thanks it's for It's good to see this. you. It's been a while. It's been a while. We should probably note at the top, not only do we know each other, but in fact, we have a business relationship and I technically owe you money. 